Up to now in this video, we have been dealing with safety preventative measures designed to prevent falls and making sure that if you do have a fall, your full body harness arrest system will arrest that fall and prevent a fall to the ground. However, in an actual fall, your full body harness arrest system will only provide you with a temporary fix in a still very dangerous situation. Prolonged hanging from a full body harness arrest system puts undue pressure on the groin area, cutting off the circulation to the legs and causing blood pooling in the legs. And this can lead to heart failure and death, a process called suspension trauma. Hanging from a full body harness arrest system and using a suspension relief device are not experiences we are used to. I advise you to practice both near ground level before use on a hunt. The practice will allow you to experience what it is like to hang suspended, and it will develop confidence in deploying and properly using the suspension relief device. But never practice alone. Practice only near ground level and with a competent partner who can assist you if you get into trouble. A suspension relief device is simply a web or a rope strap usually attached to the waist section or belt section of the full body harness arrest system, with some models having them attached to the tether section of the full body harness arrest system. At the bottom end of the rope or strap there is a loop that will hold the hunter's foot and allow the hunter to stand in the harness and help take pressure off the groin area maintaining blood circulation in the legs until help arrives. The strap can be adjusted for length to accommodate different leg lengths. And you can do all that in a practice session. This fall is simulated to illustrate the use of a suspension relief strap device. After the fall, the suspension relief device is deployed and then adjusted for length. Once this is done, the hunter places his or her foot in the end loop and by standing in the relief device, pressure is taken off the groin area. In this case, I am using two suspension relief devices, one on each side. This allows me to stand on both legs and I find this much more comfortable. Once safely hanging, you can activate your emergency procedures by making your calls for help, whether it be by cell phone or two-way radio. If help is going to take some time to get to you, it is also important to exercise your legs to keep the circulation going. Raising and lowering the legs or pushing with the legs against the tree are good methods of doing this. Tree stand hunting is effective, and by following all the safety rules recommended by the Tree Stand Manufacturers Association on each and every hunt, you can avoid accidents. Make sure you visit their website and complete their free online tree stand safety course. You'll have fun. Enjoy your hunting, but remember to play safe in your tree stands.